The longest current serving member of the Alabama House is stepping down. John Rogers public corruption plea requires that he give up District 52 his seat there. WVTM 13 John Papke is live in Homewood tonight. John, when will Rogers resignation become official? Well, when the state legislature receives his official letter of resignation, which I am told should happen in the next couple of days, and that means about 50,000 residents in communities like Rosedale will soon be picking their first state house rep not named John Rogers in more than four decades. Barbara Pope was born and raised in Rosedale, so John Rogers has been the only state house representative she's known since 1982. He would come over to the uh, community center and he donated money to the Rosedale reunion. And that was very nice. Then this week, he pleaded guilty to funneling tax money intended for a youth baseball league into the pocket of girlfriend Vari Johnson Kendall. His plea deal requires he resign his house seat of the last 42 years. I hated it. I felt sorry for him. You know, it just shows you that people can get caught up. And I think he just made a big mistake. Once his resignation becomes official, Governor Kay Ivey will call for a special election to pick his successor. Wayne Rogers, who runs Jefferson County's Democratic Party, can see the winner of the primary being appointed. If there's no Republican in the race, then the governor is at that point allowed to appoint the person who won the race between the Democrats. Whoever wins takes over a district which has served as a major funding breadwinner for this area. This is the urban core of the city of Birmingham and Jefferson County is District 52. And so the city of Birmingham considers this to be a very, very important district. Where voters like Barbara Pope must pick a new leader for the first time in generations. We just hope he will be as well as John Rogers was to us. You know, it'd be a, a great service to the community. The governor's office tells us she will announce the District 52 special election soon. Now, John Rogers' sentencing is set for July 26. Prosecutors will ask for him to be held to home confinement for 14 months, plus his share of nearly $200,000 in restitution.